とばれに下ってゆくのか時を測る金の高い今と重なる思いを真実にたどり着け奇跡を超えても新たなる壁越えは絆に誓って Hello everybody Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Hello, it's me. Hello! We are back with more Kuruna Kiseki Crimson Sin. Feels like it's been ages, but it's literally been, what, four days? Has it been four? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Three. No, four. It is right. I can do maths. Um, last time we finished um, the uh, Twisted Heretic Hunt are part of act three and we're going to continue on so there was some sussy beginnings with nina and askelad uh i mean askelad's not super sus but nina is super sus um and yeah there was the whole thing with celis being taken over well she was kind of pretending to have been taken over by the grendel's power or the garden masters in this instance and she managed to fight through it and uh, got a good stab at the Garden Master to really showcase the power of the Grals Ritter. And basically to say, fuck off. <laughs> Which I think is pretty suitable for Celis. She's kind of a say it to your face kind of lady. And that's why we love her. Anyway, time to voice act. I've got my cup of tea. We started stream a little earlier today. Um, I will be finishing around 5 UK time. So we'll be streaming for a couple of hours like normal. But yeah, off we go. We found out some things ourselves as well. This definitely won't be overlooked. To think they'd use the Lady of Heiyue and those Grals Ritter Knights in such a convenient way. Yeah, both events happened in just two days. This is definitely bad. Yes, we have to stop the Garden Master no matter what it takes. In any case, we can't just stay on the defensive the whole time. There's a chance that another erosion might occur come tomorrow. Right, we should keep that in mind and act accordingly. That being said, we hardly have any information to work with. <laughs> we mentioned this earlier, but how about we try investigating the Underworld? But he's got to be hiding somewhere, and there's a chance he'll slip up and reveal himself. Indeed, the CID will do their best to try to force them out of hiding. Thanks, Rene. Up next is the Darklight District in the Jaegers. We should look around into the rumours of the Orbal Net. Yes, I'll try to meet with my Abby and the others. They're pretty close to the capital for work, so I might hear something. I see. By meeting with them, we may also be able to acquire some new information. If it's about the Jaegers, then I can definitely be of assistance in that regard. With everything that happened yesterday, I'm sure Kuragane won't object to helping. I I'll see if the guild has anything too. We'll try to widen our scope of investigation. I'll think about what I can get Theo to do. So for tonight, let's all try and search independently and come back here tomorrow morning. And if we find out that any erosions have occurred again, we can act accordingly afterwards. Yeah, that makes sense. There's a strange scent flowing around. No, we'll just have to do what we can for now. Hmm, we doing some nighttime investigations? Or are we just kind of waiting for the next erosion uh, to take place? Wherever and whenever that may be. After that, they exchanged a few ideas and decided on their next course of action. As a result, a few members decided to leave the Solutions office tonight to investigate elsewhere. Who leave? Okay, so Rosette, Ferry, Shizna, and Judith. That's kind of annoying because they're all, <laughs> all four of them are kind of goaded. Like, Ferry's my best arts caster at the moment. Uh, well, she, she's like the most versatile. Uh, Shizna's just Shizna. Rosette's my shield buffer. Judith's kind of a substitute, but the other three are the big ones. All right, then. We'll be off. I contacted my Abby earlier, and he said he'll gather some info for us. I'll be leaving as well. Kuragane Shinobi are already on the move. Take care, Ferry. Shizna. Well, with you two on our side, we can say the Jaeger side of things is mostly covered. As for you, you'll dress up as groom cats and look for anything suspicious in the capital, right? Okay, so Judas going out. Hello, Kiki. How are you doing? Thank you for lurking. <laughs> I hope you're uh, you're having a nice day so far. I saw you were on Final Fantasy. Has the um, has the update happened yet for you? Are you able to play DT? Yeah, it's going good. I've got my cup of tea. 
I always like streaming on because so I stream I stream every Tuesday and Thursday, so it's a it's a nice routine. Um, it always feels nice to stream. Normally I do it around 5 p.m. UK time because that's when I'll finish work. Um, but obviously I'm off this week, so I'm streaming a little early. Oh, and we now have you following. Thank you so much. <laughs> I always get surprised when I hear my sound bites of someone following me. But thank you so much. I appreciate it. No update for you, sadly. Oh, I'm sure it'll come in probably, I think, maybe a couple of hours. Because normally I imagine the resets happen. Well, the resets happen in like 50 minutes, right? So you would have thought that the game would update in accordance with the resets happening in terms of daily stuff. About two hours. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be up soon and you can jump straight in. Are you going to go right into playing Picto? Because Picto's pretty fun. So I got my Picto. I think my Picto's level 91 right now. So I'm going to be using that in the MSQ because I've not actually started the MSQ yet, which I probably should do. <laughs> Picto all the way. One of my friends picked up Viper and it looks a bit like... It looks fun, but I'm in no rush to level everything up. Um, I've obviously still got all my other jobs to get to level 100, so it's uh, I'm taking my time because uh, I definitely got burnt out towards the end of Endwalker while I was trying to catch up with everything, and I was playing so much, um, so I'm going to take it slow this time, and now that I'm here for the start of the expansion, then I've got plenty of time, plenty of time to do what I want to do. You can't wait. Oh, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. As a uh, Picto main, uh, I can help you if you need it. <laughs> Might be a little sarcastic there. I'm pretty shit. Um, but Picto's good fun. It just has a hammer and I like bonking shit with it because it's, it's funny. Yeah, it's much easier to move that way at night. I'll take a look around and see what I can find. Granny said she'll help out too, if I'm lucky. We might be able to get a read on where they are. Be careful, Judith. I also plan to look into some things tonight. As it turns out, Chief Kasim's group is in close vicinity of the capital. Is that right? So Big Brother was nearby as well. If you want, Master Ferry, why don't you come and say hello? Yeah, if it's not too much trouble. Maybe I'll go gather some info too. Some of my lady friends have been pestering me since I haven't dropped by in a while. Alright, Aaron, you pimp. <laughs> Aaron, surely you don't mean you're just going to go and have some fun with them, right? Honestly, this brat. Try and hold back, will you? <laughs> I'll be going back to the dorm now. I'll see you all tomorrow morning at six o'clock. Yes, Agnes. Be careful, too. I'm sure you already know this, but anything could happen. We need to make sure to stay in contact, all right? Yes. Leave it to me. All right. Everyone's going their own... Well, not everyone, but a big chunk of people are going their own way. You're good to lurk mode now. Enjoy the stream. Thank you, Kiki. No, I will, uh, I will enjoy the stream. Uh, thank you so much for just lurking. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy whatever you're up to right now. And I'll message you after the stream anyway, so we can go back to our uh, our conversations. Auto on. Drink of tea. <laughs> okay, so we skipped the night. We skipped the evening. Got it. <laughs> Actually. I'm gonna get some natural light into my flat. We'll open up the curtains. I just realized that I've had them shut all day. And um, it's really not that warm today. It's really not. Considering it's July, it is not that hot. I'm very surprised. Mm, okay. So, what groups are we missing? Yeah. Very Rosette and Judith aren't here. Okay. I mean, yeah. The Yobonet's always going to be a little crazy. Small scale erosions. Okay, so the Crimson Grendel is kind of off the radar. Right, okay. And Lapis. <laughs> and well, I mean, it's not Lapis, but I'm going to refer to her as Lapis. I wonder what's going on with Ferry. 
And I don't like it. I feel like there's something ominous. Oh, is that the Genesis? Oh. I mean, we heard it. I'm worried, because Fairy's probably... Oh, hello. Oh, shit! Mirabelle. おい。なんだかの妨害。動力波のジャミングではなさそうだけど。オーシット。ジェイガース。オーマイガード。ディヴァンゲットショット。すぐ。襲撃。何がどうなって。逃げろ。お前ら。<laughs> Oh, Van is shot. Look at his back. We need to make sure that... Um... Oh, they've lobbed a grenade. That's a C4. Uh... Alright, Genesis. Oh, uh, fuck. They would have literally killed everyone in Monma as well. Oh my god. They would have killed Yume and everyone as well. Holy fuck, man. Knowing that it's coming as the Genesis, though, means it's not as, obviously, emotional as the first few times. But still, that is fucked up. Like, the, that was a that is something that could have happened if we didn't have the Genesis. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wonder if that's got... Well, Fairy's not considered an immigrant, is she? But I wonder if because I didn't go down the immigrant anti-terrorist line, maybe that's why the others have gone missing. But Judith as well. Judith, Rosette, and Ferry. Okay. So who are we missing? Elaine isn't with us. Oh no, Elaine's in the support. Who are we missing? Ren. We don't have Ren, uh, and we don't have Rion. Ah, uh, it's just those two. We just don't have Ren and Rion. Okay, I think that makes sense. We've gone pretty far back here. Holy shit, though. That was definitely some of the terrorists. I thought they were Jaegers, but yeah. Time for the terrorists. Alright, this is new now. Damn it, what was that? It can't be. We went back two days? A surprise ambush. Right before that, it looked like the Genesis reacted, right? Collect enough Genesis to survive the attack on day three. Choose the unseen route of day two. Oh, shit. Okay. For now, let's look into the anti-immigrant terrorists. All right. I'm okay with that. In that case, we're splitting up for today. We're going to be busy from tomorrow onwards. Alrighty. Holy shit, we went back two whole days. Fuck me. Alright, let's do the other storyline then. The anti-immigrant terrorist group. Septian calendar 1209. Let's start today's work. Plan is, as we confirmed last night, we'll be investigating the movements of the anti-immigrant terrorists. The true melancholist order that appeared in Aramis. There's information in indicating that the group's remnants are hiding out in the city. Thinking about it, how Ashton changed because of that crimson um, erosion, is what he said, right? Yeah. We should keep an eye on in case anything similar is happening over there. Yes, but even if they don't have anything to do with the case we're looking into, if those terrorists planned on causing trouble again, we can't just stand by. And so to that end, let's collect info around the city while doing our force breaks. Uh, I'm fine with that, but where should we start looking? The targets of an anti-immigrant terrorist group will obviously be immigrants, right? Oh, wait. Have I got that? 
The wording on anti-immigrant group made me think that it was a terrorist group who were who were anti-immigrant. But there are a terrorist group terrorizing people who are anti-immigrant. Is that what I'm getting? Okay, that makes more sense. If we're talking about people from the Middle East, we can check on with the church in Riverside. Father Mansell might know something about it. Sure, that sounds good. Regarding the Far Eastern immigrants, I'm sure Heiyue would be well informed. Even with all the chaos going on in Heiyue, that asshole managed to get it all under control. I could try talking to old lady Mao. That's a popular Eastern restaurant in the Tyrell district, right? It's not your typical Far Eastern cuisine, but they offer a wide selection of dishes, so it's quite a nice restaurant. Yeah, those two places sound good. I'd like to explore a bit more as well. We could try asking one anti-immigrant activist. The man who's always giving speeches at the station? Jacobin, was it? I feel like I haven't seen him around recently, though. Maybe he'd learn his lesson after what happened in Arassian. Hmm, well, I guess we could try asking the police officer in front of the station. Yes, we may at least find a clue from them. All right, let's be off. This will be the first time I'm helping with four sprigs in the Gleaming City. I'm looking forward to it. Things are a lot more dangerous now than they were back then, so we'll be counting on you. Oh, Mirabelle. Hello, Marduk Support has a new announcement for you. The analysis of Martian Gardens been, has made progress and a new floor has been discovered. So please, check it out. All right. Floor number nine, is that? Number eight. Okay. Um... So we have Shizner as well. We can... We have Ferry back, so we'll do... Honestly, like... I don't really feel like I want to put anyone in reserves, which is annoying. Uh, we can we can play with Agnes for a little bit. I think this is a fine fine group. We can leave it as those four. Yes. The OGs. Uh, okay. I still need to get more of the high quality monster extracts because I have. I have two of the monster extracts, but I've just... It says you get them by killing monsters, right? I can't remember the last time I actually got one from killing a monster. I guess I'm supposed to have that quartz that makes the items drop more. Oh, it's a delinquent tenant. You got a big party again today. <laughs> Some of them I wish I didn't have to be involved with. Sorry for making things so noisy around here. Hmm, something smells good. Maybe I should have eaten here instead. Well, if I feel like it, maybe we'll eat here. Oh yeah, you guys got invited to the Z1 Grand Prix, right? Yeah, that shooting star guy sent us three tickets. You may said you really wanted to go see it. <laughs> Once breakfast hours have ended, we're going to close up and head over there. If you want to order anything, order sooner rather than later, okay? <laughs> sure. You may. Something about? Oh. <laughs> it's nothing really. But anyway, apparently today's race is the finals and it's going to be super fast. It's a bit scary, but I'm looking forward to it. I can understand why you think it's scary. <laughs> That's what makes it so thrilling. I've only seen that type of stuff in movies, but I guess it's different seeing it in person. <laughs> this is a special race that'll serve as a decider for the whole last year of races. If things weren't so busy, I'd love to go see it myself. Well, go and enjoy the race on my behalf too. We're closing the shop for this, so might as well. You guys be careful out there. Oh, have a safe trip! Yeah, we'll be back soon. Yume's got some kind of intuition. What I do want to check though. Um, I swear there was an orbman that like increased drop rates of items. That's Sepith. Who's got secret vein? Rosette. Makes sense. Damage dealt to stunned enemies. Hmm. 
Increases CP recovery when damaged. That's kind of nutty, honestly. I should probably put that on Aaron, right? Probably get rid of the attack one. I don't know, we can put it in here. I mean, that just... Um... This is fine. You've yet to get strike three, though. Swin has it, that's fine. Actually, no, it's not. Swin's not here. I just forgot that Swin wasn't a part of the team anymore. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, back to... Back to looking. What is it? Magic... Amalthea? Increase arts, no. AoE effectiveness, no. Item drop point when the user defeats an enemy plus 50. Whose is this on? That's on Ren. Only when the user, though. Um... I think impede, probably. Sorry, Ren. Ren already has a mind three, okay. You just stick a mind one on there for now. Okay. So Aaron has the one now. Uh which yeah, he has luxury. Okay. Cool. So now we want Aaron in our party most of the time, purely for the fact that uh, he will hopefully be able to get monsters dropping their extracts. What's this for, Spriggan? A rare mysterious enemy has arisen in the Martian Garden. I'm sorry, but I need you to defeat it. All right, Mirabelle. Okay, we need to go... Rosette's room. Okay. We can head back there right away. We can get that one done. While we're here. We can clear up that floor in the Martian Garden as well. Up we go. Sorry, Rosette, we're coming in. Alright. So this just takes us straight to the monster. Some weird tower. Oh, tell you what, actually. We need to get our CP back. Good thing I remembered that. I don't want to go into a fight with no CP. We will skip this though. Cool. Now we can... Oop, I'm stuck on you guys, sorry. Didn't mean to get in the middle of your domestic. <laughs> I could just fall asleep listening to Trails music. I mean, I have done multiple times. <laughs> All right. It's these cubes. These are the same things back from... Oh, it's a replication of the uh, Genesis Tower. Okay. I remember these. Yeah, i got to remember how they all work, though. But I remember... Okay. I mean, we can shield up R3. Cool. So that just lowers all... Well, a chance to lower all of our stuff. Now we can just go for these two for now. I don't think... Oh, well, one of them's got a crit. I can move quick enough. That's annoying. Oh, well. I missed the crit. 
Alright, there's two down. Alright. Bring out the Phoenix Ferry. Nice. I mean, if this thing's just debuffing us, then I don't really have a problem. Is that literally all it's going to do? Oh no, it actually casts arts. Alright. Ferry doesn't have an impede. Who does that of these? Um, uh, uh, is that's a death blow? It's side bonus insight shield. Okay, well we'll, we'll just buff up a sh We'll give a uh, we'll give our boy Van a shield. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I accidentally missed My bad. Okay, um, but we can combo off this a little bit though. Because now we're going to be able to basically get like three S crafts off. Oh, another one at least. If uh, Agnes had a damaging one, then yeah, we could have used that as well. I mean, we could swap out Aaron, technically. If we want to do... If we want to be decent with our combos. Yeah, we can. Because now we can... We can Ifrit raid. And then Ferry. There we go. My daughter popping off on a rampage right now. We might. Well, we'll stun it for sure. I don't know if we'll damage it though. Or kill it even. Uh, I don't think this will do 24k. Surprise me, Rosette. Surprise me. But it won't. It'll probably do about 10. Radiant Seeker, baby. Nice. We got the stun. Uh, we don't have anyone. Wait, Aaron's S boosted. Bring him back. That way we get the EX chain. Take him out. Nice. We finished him off. Easy peasy. Not much XP, though. Hello, Reen. Hello. How's Daybreak Kuro treating you? Very good, thank you. Yeah. I finished uh, finished Kuro 1 back in December last year. Um, but yeah, Crimson Sin's been great so far. Looking forward to replaying uh, Kuro when it officially releases. I'm sure it'll... Uh, I'm sure it'll be good to replay Kuro when I get it again. Okay, so there's that one done. I will probably want to look at the next... 80 bonus occurrence rate. Okay. Mirage 6, Space 4. Wait, that's kind of interesting. Okay. That adds a lot of bonus. So we can go back to the... Where do I want to go now? I want to try and do the next floor of the Martian Garden, I think, actually, before I dip right into the story. So let's go back to the bathhouse and buff up, and then we can just go back out into uh, Martian Garden. You're hoping Emma will appear in Kai? Oh, we'll have to see, yeah. There's too many characters now. There's too many I'd like to see. To be honest, I'd like to see every character, <laughs> but we know that's not going to happen. Is it only Emma who you want to see, or are there any other, like, other characters that we don't know about yet who you want to see? Okay, we can go up now. Can 
connect to Martian Gartum. <sighs> Alright, number eight. Submerged. Space or Earth? We'll go for space. Why not? Uh, Alright. Let's adjust this pie, though. Rion had his fun in the last chapter. Rene, I don't really care for you, brother. I'm sorry, but you are quite low level. You can stay in the support party. Uh, Ren, you are my queen, so we will get you in for Rion. Uh, we can have Celis up in here, actually, as well, instead of Cutie, and then we can do Ferry instead of... Yeah, I think that's fine. Actually, Aaron. We can do Aaron instead of Shizuna. Like that. We'll do that. For now. And then we'll have Aaron run around. <laughs> getting all the extra points. Um, other characters you want Kai confirmed. Ah, fair enough. Very cool. I don't know who I really want, like, specifically. So, I'm excited with whoever comes in. As long as Ren's in the game, which he probably will be. Ren's just the GOAT. And Estelle. If Estelle's in it, I would be very happy. I guess they're my main two. But all of the characters, I'm happy to see. Whoever pops in, really. It doesn't have to be anyone specific. What I like the most about these games is when characters who haven't really interacted interact. That's my favourite part. So, give me lots of interactions between characters... Who uh, who haven't met yet, you know? And I know that I know I know there's already a few. I know there is already a few in um, in Kai. So I am uh, yeah looking forward to the rest. Yeah, I should probably be playing with Aaron at this rate because he can um, he can um, get the luxury. I don't know what else these guys would drop. Oh, Executioner, that's new. I didn't see that animation before. Um, I'm alright. No, I, I don't need to see the poll. Thank you, though. I'm all good. Okay, can we get these... I guess these guys can be death blowed. They can, because everything in this game can be death blowed. And then... We can whip them out. But obviously they would, uh... Oh, that's an execute. Oh, well, I won't kill it. Never mind. I thought the whole point of executor was it would uh, <laughs> actually finish it off. <laughs> Man. I'm not looking... Other than the, the trailers, I'm not delving too deep into the Kai info. I don't want to... Potentially spoil myself for future stuff. Just because I haven't finished uh, Kuro 2 yet, you know? So, I will finish this and then I will look at all the other bits and bobs. Uh, in the future, for sure. But right now, I'm trying to trying to stay away from a little bit of uh, uh, Kai info as much as I can. Just, just on the off chance that I may get spoiled in a comment or something, you know. Like, I don't want that to happen, really. Hello, game. Wait, what? <laughs> Why was it letting me over the chest? <laughs> Close them off. Back into battle. And Aaron can finish them off. I wish it... Okay, it does. If I go up... Wait, can I actually open the chest now? Jesus Christ, game. What's going on? Uh, wait, do I need to... Oh, I can go to the next floor. Okay. Uh, it's just the chest that I'm looking for, right? Yeah. We'll just turbo this. Wee! 
I thought the whole point of using the arts was you have to hold it down. But at this rate, it's just letting me tap it and it's turning up. But I imagine, yeah, a lot of the ones that have showed up in the trailers are definitely favourites. Um, but they obviously need to have a part to play in the story, right? So there's a reason. There's definitely reasons why they're there. Oh, I can literally just travel to the next floor. Oh, that just took me back to the beginning. That makes sense. Uh, all right, so we've done that one. Water or recovery item? Can't go wrong with recovery items. In we go with Aaron. Okay. Just trying to get Aaron to finish off as much of them as possible. Purely for the um <laughs> the birds are just on their bodies upside down. Uh purely for the the drop rate basically. Oh, I can't they're blocking them off. There we go. Alrighty. Fresh eggs, monster extract. There we go. That's what we need. We need more monster extract. Alright, that is exactly what I want. Aaron cooking hard. Now I am going to be curious. If I kill them in the field, do I still get the drop? I should do, right? No. Well, at least not for that fight. We didn't get anything. Uh, okay, so we've got four chests. Cool. There's that one done. We'll, uh, we'll do some more fights and then go through the chest. Reviving Barb times three, please. Thank you. We can upgrade that. Okay. For some reason, I thought that would give us a... Um, uh, like a, a Zeram capsule or something. But it didn't. Oh my god, this is going to be a big fight. Okay, where is everyone? This is going to be a nice chunk of combo. Is that? This is a. That is everyone. All right, cool. Talk to me again. Now. Take him out. Ren's got a crit and CP buff coming up. Again. We'll have a nice time with that. Rem with the crit. Why is she just the best character in this entire series? Exhibit A. She has the best crafts. Easy. What did we get from that? Monster extract again. Exactly what we want. Exactly what we want. The game is being forever kind to us. Ow, let me roll. We're getting all the Nadia training stones. I was uh, pushing the wrong button for the turbo there. Oh wow, it got up. Okay. Thank you. Death blow. 
Alright. Oh, it's edge. Alright. Maybe pulled over these things as well. Fever time would up. We'll go with those ones. Oh, just got an achievement. Top secret crafts. Wait, was that achievement? I think it was. It didn't give the pop-up noise though. Which normally it does. Oh nice, we're getting a decent chunk of monster extract now. It's like the game knew. The game knew what we wanted. These things tell you what they give. Monster me, uh, Martian Garden, here we go. So yeah, you can grind. We're on floor eight right now. Monster extract, monster me, monster me, yeah. So the, yeah, lots of these things give it. Just we weren't getting it, but now we are. Uh, I'll tell you what we need to do. Just a little, little top up. <laughs> Keep everyone healed. Yeah, I don't think you get drops from fighting in the overworld, though, which is probably why I uh, wasn't getting any from the last time when I was looking for it. Three medium monsters. All right, well, there's three to the left of me, so we'll go do that. These little rascals are. An Appleton? Is that the dragon one? I can't remember that Pokemon. Easy. All right, three medium monsters done quite easily there. On to the next floor. Action two, please. Thank you. Ah, just. Nice, you materials. <laughs> Do I really want to go through? Yeah, we can do. Why not? Uh, wait, what do these guys give? They drop monster meat and you materials. Okay. It might be a decent fighting thing, really. I love their, like, flying monster kicks, though. Look at that. They were definitely having fun with that. Uh, if I go like here, can I get this one as well? I can only get those. Can't get all four of them. Well, that poor one guy got overkilled kind of hard, didn't he? That little platypus is dead as well. That one's dead. Are we going to get the death blow? Of course we are. It's Ren. Duh. <laughs> Of course we're going to get the death blow of his Ren. It's only natural. 
Uh, okay, I can actually make it through this time. When it comes to combat in the Martian Garden, I don't want to dally on too much. S craft delay is halved. Oh, okay. Who, who do I S craft the most on? Probably Van, right? I want to try and get this revenge arrow so I can get time. I can put the other, so, well, they've got an action three, so put that in there. Now I just need four wins so I can open up that last slot. I feel like having defense one just ain't it. I mean, having the Baije might not be too bad. We are getting some stones. All the stones normally will obviously come from the loot at the end of it. Using all these shard tokens. Wind gem? Alright. I don't know if I'll need that, but... Um... Let's go Mirage Quartz. Defeat one large monster. Alright. Um, nothing over there. There's a few chests again. There's always like four chests, I think, per... Per area. Aaron is half HP, though. We don't want you to die, Chief. There we go. How much is he on? Half HP? Oh my god. Aaron just does so much damage. Okay, so the Executioner isn't when they're on low HP. Alright. Deathblow goes hard, man. It's so busted. Alright, one large monster done. Let us have a look at uh, Mind 1 times 2. Yeah, why not? We can upgrade that. Aaron's Ordnance. Ah, it's because he's got this now. Uh, just a 25% chance. Oh, Fatal Lance is the... Yeah. Chance of a follow-up attack on stunned when stunning enemies. Okay. Just a flat. Just a flat amount. Fair enough. Cool. All right. Uh, let's go get some more chests. We can make sure as well that Aaron... Oh, fucking hell. The Aaron. gets in the end there. I just didn't finish that sentence, did I? I was just like, Aaron, and then just kind of stopped talking. Alright. Okay. Right, there is a chest over here. Oh. 
Another Nadia training stone. Why are we getting so many of Nadias? Unless Nadia is just like one of the lucky ones or something. Let's grab this chest over here. Mirage gem. All right, we can go to the, the final section now. Cool. All right. Take the Grendel. Yeah, we can just go straight into the Grendel, right? We have 200 CP ready. Uh, we'll keep him close. Quick blow. Uh, I'm not in range for the mortal first. That will hit him. And this will as well. Easy. Cool. Um, Reset can shield us all up. Ren can move away. We've got a plus coming up, actually. Yeah. I I wanna. I, I don't know if this ends it. I can't remember if this ends the Grendel. Yeah, I don't really care anyway because the animations are so sick. <laughs> It doesn't. All right. It's just when the um, the S boost disappears that it ends. That makes sense. Aaron's got a crit coming up as well. Nice. That is my queen, Ren. And he can't move. Oh my god, so good. I'm so proud of you. All right. Now we can do the whole... Honestly, we could probably... No, we can't do that, really. Doesn't need to HP absorb, either. Oh. Uh, Reset could also come out now, I think, really. What's it weak to? Wind and Mind. I mean, Fairy has so many good things, but she doesn't have any wind. Oh, well, she has fire, though. She has Divine Phoenix, which is an S. Regulus Caliber. Yeah, we can do this thing. I didn't mean to press A there. Sorry, Van. Oh, big hit. Should hurt. Fairy is a good arts caster. Never mind. It was only like 5k. <laughs> this will hurt. Because what we can do is we can. Oh wow, we can get the back buff as well there. 17k. Oh, Aaron, you monster. <laughs> Aaron's still the goat. And he sealed them as well. Alright. We can continue to craft on this guy from behind. That only ups it by four. This ups it by four as well, actually. All right. Aaron's Van's hate has gone down. We need that back up. All right. Burn them, fairy. Burn him. I could just buff all us up. Yeah. 
There we go. I probably should have done Ferry instead of Ren actually thinking about it, but I mean, Ferry's got buffed up and Ren doesn't self buff, which is the most sad part of it. It's her tea pie. She should get buffed up as well. <laughs> Aaron once again proving he is the MVP. Alright. We can just burn attack death down. Nice ferry. Double nice ferry. Oh, and we've got the plus coming up again. Which means that... Oh, he's up now. Okay, shame. But... Uh, what does ferry... Uh, how do I check this again? There was a way of checking fairies. Ah, uh, sub info. Here we go. Strength, ATS, 14, speed, 20, physical damage. Uh, Alright. I might change that. I don't really think that suits her too much. Oh, he's healing. Ah, uh, we... We chilling. Oh, wait, where'd the boost go? Am I being silly? Oh no, Ferry! I, bo I boosted up Ferry, didn't I? Of course I did. Aaron just taking out that heal, honestly. Alright, Ren, I think you're gonna swap out now. Because Shizuna is just gonna kinda... Oh, I fucked up. Oh well. I, it's dead anyway. But I should have let Ferry's art go off first before I S-crafted with her. Now this is a bit overkill. But Ferry gets the finishing blow. Rampage. Bye-bye. Alright. That is the boss of the 8th floor done. For a whopping 761 XP. Wow. Okay, I want to change Ferry's uh, arts thing, actually. That, let me remind me of that. Aaron is going to be. Of course it is. Cool. Aaron can uh, use his shards. Okay, anyway. Um, party screen. Where's Ferry? There she is. Change equipment. And it's not equipment. I want to change your, your augment. Ah, oh, well, here we go. I want to change your hollow core. Because although it's level 4, I don't think the benefits are that good. Cast time down. Oh, actually, that's kind of good. Physical, don't care about that. S power craft, EP consumption, power, cast time down. I actually think that's really good on Fairy. For at least how I'm building her. Okay, we'll level up Fairy with that now. Um, in the meantime, let's go to the Marduk support. <laughs> Good to see you, Mirabelle. Uh, can we enhance this? Well, what can I spend these? What else can I spend these points on? Ah, this is what we can spend them on. Um. Let's have a look at everyone's level. Oh, wait, and we can convert. These are all like old ones we've currently got. Okay. I modify weapons. Uh, Rene is a little bit lagging behind. We'll give him a new weapon. Why not? <laughs> okay. Um, then we can customize all these. Master there we go. Alright. 
Like, Aaron is still missing quite a few. Van's alright. Shizuna's ferry's kind of low. Ren's fine. Agnes has so much. Oh, sorry, Agnes. Judith. Uh, honestly, Agnes... Grendel's also kind of low. Okay, we can do Fairy, Grendel, Agnes, maybe? Okay. We'll do 10 Fairy, 10 Agnes. Where's the Grendel? Oh, I can't specifically level up the Grendel ones. Okay. We'll do... We'll do 13 of each then. My daddy. I could just I guess I could just do all of these ones, right? I have all these fragments. But items that I don't know I have them, but I've got them now. I think these are all just a these were all from the story, right? Golden blood suit. Oh, that's for Judah. We'll have a look at some of these. Everyone's getting their red hair van. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Blonde hair fairy. Oh my god. Oh, I've already got. Oh, these are just generic. Okay. We'll go for the ones that we haven't got. got that. We've got one of all of them. There we go. Character cover. Cool. Uh, music ones. All the extra stuff. All right. Buy an exchange. Yeah, so now that will just get us one? Wow, it's only... All right. Yeah, makes sense. All right. Oh. Any good ones here? The true proverb, life and death. Speed, hit rate, crit 30. There we go. I just need the other proverbs, but I haven't got those yet. Um, we can... Why can't I do this one? Why can't I do that? It says I have enough, but I will. Hmm, take me three. Okay. We're going through and doing all of our admin right now. Nothing really new here that I need. We could open some slots though. I was going to open up vans, right? I was going to put a green one in here. We can slot that in here. Dawn Trail is live. Kiki, get on it. Get on it, Kiki. <laughs> Enjoy. I'll speak to you later. I hope you have fun with it. Get Picto leveling. By the time I've spoken to you after my stream, I hope you're going to be level 100, all right? <laughs> okay, let's... We need four, right? Yeah, we can put an uh, evasion in. Shizuna is quite underwhelming right now. I mean, she's still kind of goaded without it, really, but you, like, she doesn't need this. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Get on it, Kiki, get on it! We've got all the drivers. I think we're fine, honestly, for now with that sense. Um, and then we can level up the others. By the way, it was live the whole time. You just had to enter the code. Kiki... Kiki. 
You didn't- <laughs> Kiki! <laughs> you didn't even bother checking! Oh, well, at least you've got it now, okay? You've got it now. You're there now, and that is what matters. <laughs> this can't be real. <laughs> a apparently it is, Kiki, and it's on you. Um... Buff up the S-Craft. Makes the power go up by five, but delay down a little bit too. Power up desk indeed. We have everything. But now you're going to enjoy it even more because you've waited longer for it. So when you actually get on, you're going to be like, holy shit, this is amazing. <laughs> you've not missed that much. Only a few hours probably. Mind drop. Aaron Training Stone 15. I... <laughs> Alright, back we go. Time to put Aaron up again. Uh, upgrade crafts, Aaron. There we go. Actually, I don't really think this is that necessary. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, no, I don't want to log out, actually, because we haven't done the Mystic Cube. We haven't gambled yet. Alright, gacha time. Time to hold down A and pray, because we need a lot of Sephir. Oh, uh, wait. Ha actually, if I exit... Uh, what is my current Sephir, like, level? I don't know. I wish it told me how much Sephir I have right now. Oh, well. We'll go with the Sephir, uh, Mirage one, sorry. All right, we're holding down A. We got another Nadia training stone. Oh, nice. We got Swin's gem card. Cool, some free points for him. Swin's kind of AFK right now, though. He's not... <laughs> I don't know how we're going to gift it to him. Getting some good ornaments though. Some good quartz. Alter gap. Wait, we just got another um uh another I can't remember what they're called now. Arts Hollow Core. Nadia, don't know how we're gonna give you that. We'll text you. Monster meat. Okay, so we can get we can get some of the items from this, which is decent. How many? We're only halfway. We had, we started with like 11k. I feel like my A button is gonna be broken after this. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on, four thousand left. Well, all I remember is last time we did this, our luck was not very good, but it seems to have kind of turned over a little bit. We're getting a lot of stuff right now. And we're getting a 250% Sephith bonus. Another. Look at all that stuff we're getting. Cool. Oh. So those items that we're getting can buff up our, um, like, connect with them so we get more points. So we might have time for one more. Is it? Yeah. All right. That is where we exit. We got about a thousand in everything. Ah, actually, we did need it most in Mirage anyway, so that's kind of perfect. Awesome. So now, uh, we did get a few more, actually. We can upgrade everyone's shit. You have increased your hit, uh, hit chance, sorry. Okay, it's the same for everyone. Auto mod. Well, very kind of you, auto mod. Auto mod's doing overtime right now. We'll do like that. 
Uh, Shizuna. Fairy. You can whip out that. Kind of feels weird to be leveling up these guys because they're just basically not here, right? I mean, for obvious reasons, they're not here, so... Not a part of the story just yet. Um, okay. Let's log out because we have a lot of gem cards to give. Alright. This just buffs up everyone's connect. Oh, fairy. Nice. Level three. Aaron's almost there. If we can watch a movie, we'll take Aaron. And Rosette, I think, are probably the ones we'll want to take. Alright. Kincaid? Cool. Alright. So we've done that. Am I wrong in thinking? Didn't I... Did I get... Did I get, like, some new Orbman that was, like, a fancy name? No, I didn't. Okay, I am losing it. Alright, so we've done that. Uh, we've leveled up people there. Orba's the school. Uh, Tyro District is where the cinema is. So we'll go to the cinema, see if there's something here. A Vespicrant, though. Let me try and pokey catch. What's the time? 4.15. We've been live for an hour and 15 already? Jesus Christ, time is actually flying. Okay, so the restaurant sells some stuff. We'll go to the cinema, though. We want to watch some movies. Cool, we can. Casablanca, Saga of Ravana. Yeah, Return of the King. Uh, Aaron and Rosette were the ones I was going to take. Let's go, guys. We got a little, uh, little outtake. A little cute cinema date. Rosette's always on the clock, though, with a headset on. <laughs> okay. He ruled over an ancient kingdom. He was known for imposing heavy taxes on his people and executing any who rebelled. Meanwhile, Sindhu, a dashing young man from the countryside, meets Kiara, a female warrior who fled from the capital. He soon discovers that she is Bali's half sister, and after hearing the king's tyranny of the king's tyranny, Sindhu decides to take action. After saying his goodbye to the foster parents who raised him since he was abandoned as a child, he and Kiara head to the capital. Along the way, Sindhu meets the old knight. Okay. He tells Sindhu that Bali only usurped the throne. According to the knight, Sindhu was almost killed in a fight over the inheritance, but was saved by his nanny. Aww. In hopes of reclaiming the throne, Sindhu finally arrives at the capital. Gazing upon the heroic figure of Sindhu brandishing his sword on horseback, the royal army likened him to Ravana, a mythical demon king of folklore. Hmm. Are we going to get any scenes? Oh, we are. Here we go. It's Sara. Sara's on the horse on the left there. How many films has she made? ブロタエルナ。うごうの週に何が乗せる。17年前に狩り損ねた命運。その後期が再び巡ってきたのだ。忌まわしくてしょうがない。貴様と同じ血が流れるこの身が。だからこそ定めにかけて必ずや首を。ガムサラ。
Heroic music, though. It must be weird to, like, go to a, see a film where, like, someone you know or your friend has, like, acted in it. That must be a weird feeling. Hmm, Elsheim funded it, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. That makes sense. They do indeed have an agenda. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why there's an option not to buy it. Nice. Cool. I think we have everyone except Rene at level 3 now. Which is pretty decent. I don't think I've used Rene aside from when I had to. Okay. Uh, we'll go talk to this person down here. And then we will go and do the other... I'm going to sneeze, I think, soon. Uh, then we'll go do the other side quest. Oh, a new recipe. We love fried rice, baby. Oh, hello. Let's see what's going on over here. <laughs> the fact that this restaurant already knows is so funny. Okay, the Council of Elders is going to be happening soon. Hmm. They're more active. Okay, that's kind of worrying. Genuinely concerned, though, why these terrorists were attacking us. And why Ferry, Rosette, and everyone weren't with us. Not because they betrayed us, but for their, like, safety, right? I'm scared. I'm concerned. Also, I haven't fished in ages. How many fish am I missing? missing? Oh. I've caught, like, all of them. Or are these just the ones that are available? <laughs> um, okay. Let us... Let's go to Riverside next, because um, there was a bit that I was missing, I think. Well, the, the next four Spriggans here, anyway. So, we can pick that up, and then we can see if there's any shops that I haven't bought things from. But I don't think so. No, okay. Is this going to be another monster fight? I hope it is, because these Fuspriggans are always quick and nice. A patient... No, it's not. Never mind. A patient ran away from the clinic. There are circumstances that make it impossible to leave the patient alone. Can you guys find it? Find it and bring it back. I hope that was supposed to be find them. Unless this patient is a dog or an animal. I'll wait for you at the clinic. All right, okay. Okay, um... What other areas have we got to? So we may as well talk to the next person while we're here. I see the viewer count has popped up to four, though. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Hope everybody's having a nice time. And if you're watching on YouTube as well, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. I'm very much enjoying this week because I am not at work. <laughs> a week off work playing video games. I cannot go wrong. Oh, yeah, this was the church that um, Ferry mentioned. Father, the thing that was hanging on the church wall again... Again. Why do they continue to do this? Is it because... Wait, why though? Isn't this church quite all welcoming? I guess it's because Ferry's... Yeah. This is Ferry's Sunday school church.
Seems some groups have been hanging up a... Hanging up and handing out rather bad taste flyers. Oh, okay. Or are they basically just saying like... Fuck you guys. <laughs> you dickheads. It's not harassment against the church. The contents of the flyers are targeting a specific individual. Aslan. Yeah, that name's familiar. Oh, it's the, um, it's the racer, um, that, uh, is contesting against Maxim. That makes sense. But why are they concerning him? Yeah, respect. No, am I right? I'm getting confused now. Because my original thought was the anti-immigrant terrorist group was a terrorist group of people from Calvert to stop Middle Eastern immigrants, right? In the game. So that's what I thought it was. But then earlier, they described it as the group... Like, oh, only immigrants would be a part of that group. So now I'm getting confused. And now they're trying to slander the image of an immigrant. So I think maybe the translation was a bit off and I've double backed and confused myself because of it. Maybe I should just go back to my original thought process. Hmm. He's pious. <laughs> Those guys have a few skeletons in the closet. Yeah, maybe. Could be the work of those anti-immigrant terrorists that don't like the fact there's such a pommel. Yeah, okay. The, the game is... The, the translation was off, for sure. Okay, so I was right initially. Yeah, everyone's equal in the eyes of the goddess. Oh, kid's just coming in. Is that part of the cutscene, or is he just strolling? <laughs> Okay, so he was just gonna, he was just gonna try and sit there and let it through. Also, are you okay, lady? I saw you in the back of the cutscene. Are you falling asleep or are you, you having a pray, a praying time? I don't know. Hello, you fell. Good to see you, my friend. Oh shit, I almost got ran over by the car. I started the stream a bit earlier today as I'm, uh, I'm off from work this week and there's some things I wanted to do around five o'clock my time, so I started a little earlier. Apologies, you were probably only just woken up. <laughs> How are you doing? Let us go to the Dark Light District, though. And we can do that next side quest. Because I want to make sure I've got all of these side quests done before I progress. Or end the stream, at least. It'll be nice to end with all of these bits and bobs being done. That's kind of how I like doing it. Oh, hello. I wondered what you were laughing at there. The Dark Light District's kind of crazy. I've never really, like, looked up. Pretty well developed. Tons of homework to cram today, so you'll bow out. Oh, you don't have to apologize. Well, technically, you didn't apologize, but yeah. Knowing you, you felt you're so polite that you would have said that, sorry, I have to leave early. You don't have to be, don't have to say anything like that. I will have a good day off, though, thank you. And I hope your homework um, is good in terms of uh, it's not too hard. And you can get it done nice and quickly. But thank you for tuning in and saying hi. As always, really do appreciate you coming in and, uh, and checking up. Um, but the video will be up on YouTube later if you want to watch it. And then maybe next time I'll uh, I'll see you in the stream on Thursday. But I think I'll probably be streaming a little earlier on Thursday as well. Um, so it might not suit your time frame, I'm afraid. But VODs are always up on YouTube for anyone watching. So um, I'll hope to see you again soon though anyway, pal. And I'm just going to continue snacking on my, my pick and mix bag. I've got a nice little pick and mix bag beside me. Some gummy worms and things like that. Mm. I had a nice little treat uh, shopping yesterday. Spent quite a bit of money. Not on pick and mix, but <laughs> on other things. More important things than snacks. But I did treat myself to some sweets.
Yeah, this back alley doctor was kind of shifty, though. I, I remember her being quite weird. Wow, so it is a human, and she just referred to it as it. Found an unfamiliar man. He was an easy sucker. Yeah, I was right. This doctor's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Shizuna. Shizuna's so oblivious. <laughs> the moment I took my eyes off him, he left. Oh, he left his fee. So he paid. <laughs> if I remember rightly, this is a fucking dodgy ass clinic. <laughs> also, I'm excited because I've heard that Aaron is not toned down in the official release, or the English release at least, of Kuro 1. So when I replay it, I'm very excited to see what the translations are like. But I've heard even in the English, I've seen that there was a clip floating around on Twitter of uh, Aaron, when Aaron and Van are in the bath and Aaron's like playing with his hair all centrally and he's like, did you get hard? And Van's like, I'm limp as a, what did he say? I'm limp as a fish or something. <laughs> wow, he pay he overpaid. Well, that's kind of kind of him. Oh no, Isabel's the doctor. But still, he's calling the client, she's calling the client it still. I never thought they'd come after me. Ooh, okay, so someone's after him. Well, I mean, he was passed out in the Dark Light District, so yeah, that kind of makes sense. He'll die. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, Judith, if someone dies, it is kind of serious. My God. Yeah, okay, we gotta try and find him. Well, she's paying us. And we need to get our grey up to level five. Given this oral drug, it's a neutralizer for the side effects. He's already showing symptoms. This should be enough. All right, okay. Fucking hell, man. This doctor, she's kind of... <laughs> anyway, posture check, guys. Also, uh, while I remember, I need to fill up my water bottle and go to the toilet. Mm. So I'll be right back, guys. Having a little jig. I'm back. Oh, Finn, did you come in as soon as I left? <laughs> it was good to, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. How are you doing? I um, I ended up dropping into one of your streams the other week. Um, you were playing Phasmophobia. And literally, as I um, joined the stream and was about to say hi, I think you ended up like ending the stream because I think you raided someone else. And I was like, no, I came at the wrong time. <laughs> 
So you joining there and seeing me leave to go to the bathroom was very similar to me popping into your stream last time. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll, I, I logged on to Twitch and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, lurk, in, I'll lurk in Finn's uh, stream, say hi. Um, and uh, I, I think I was having a late night myself. So because of the time difference, I think I was like, it must have been like midnight my time. Actually, no, that wouldn't work. I can't remember. Anyway, I remember literally like coming into your stream and you were playing Phasmophobia and then it ended and I was like, oh no, I just missed it. No, it's all good, man. It's all good. I don't mind dropping in and saying hi at all. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate it just as much as you do, you know, so of course I'll do the same back. Whenever I have a chance to lurk or if I see you streaming when I'm um, awake still, I'll always tune in. It looked like fun though. I've never actually played Phasmophobia. Um, it's one of the games that a load of my friends played a long time ago. I say a long time ago. You know, a year or so ago. Uh, but they were hooked on it. But it's, it, I never I never ended up getting it. Or playing it. Was that just like a one-off? Or a, is that like the next game you've been streaming? Because I know previously you've been streaming things like Resident Evil and things. Which are obviously more kind of like story-based. So was the Phasmophobia stream like a one-off? Or... Yeah, you end your stream around 2 a.m. So yeah, I think it might have been in the morning then. Maybe it was like I was waking up. I can't remember the timelines. If I can't remember the time of me coming in, it was probably early morning and I probably woke up and was just like, oh, oh fin's on. <laughs> okay. So we got to go find some eyewitnesses right now. But now I'm glad to see you. Um, I'm glad to see you're doing good, Finn. I hope everything's going well on your end, bud. Okay, let's go talk to Lindsay. I am a bit curious about this patient, but I'm also kind of concerned for their safety when we go back to Isabel. I already have one of the proverbs of righteousness. Topic time. Characteristic it's an escaped patient. You've been streaming Phasma pretty regularly. You should try it. It's a blast. Oh, okay. Maybe I should. I, th I feel like most of my friends would happily kind of hop onto it. A game that um, me and my friend picked up recently. I don't know if you've heard of it, Finn, called Abiotic Factor. It was quite interesting. It didn't remind me of... Um, um, what's it called? It doesn't remind me of Phasmophobia, but it kind of has like an eerie feeling to it. Uh, and there's kind of like, it reminds me of like um, Half-Life 2 in a way. It's quite old school how it looks and the style of it. And the there's aliens and things in it. Um, but me and my friend played that together and that was good fun. And then I need to have a look through the Steam Summer Sale. I've already bought one game, but I'll, I'll have to see if there's a few more that I want to pick up. Oh, wait, so he's already... No, he didn't... Can't have been that long ago. He was out of breath and talking to himself, saying stuff like, as long as I have this passport, it's dangerous near the embassy. Oh, is this person from... No way. Is this going to be Anton? No, 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 it can't be. It can't be Anton. Why would people be hunting after Anton? I'm not into the slender weak type, but he was so cute when he was gasping in pain. Lindsay's a bit of a psycho as well. Passport. Imagine if it is Anton, that would be fucking funny, but I don't think it is. Okay, Orba District. Wait, what? Oh, wait, yeah, she loves Van, doesn't she? I forgot about that. I was going to say, Elaine doesn't look like she's seen that as a joke. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we need to go to the next area, to Orba. It's been going great, been popping off uh, on Twitch lately. You've got past 500 followers. Whoa, holy shit. You've been getting roughly 100 followers per month. Wow, that is crazy. Holy shit, dude. Congratulations. That is wild. Wow. I remember, I think, when I followed you, you were on just over 100. 
I think I think you were at like 120, right? I think I seem to remember. Like a low 100 number when I followed you. Holy shit, man. Congrats. You that's amazing. Now I get to say that I've been there from the beginning. <laughs> I was one of the first when Finn pops off and makes it big. I'll have to make you to I'll have to get you to sign some kind of digital autograph and send it my way or something. <laughs> Okay, we don't- do we actually know what this guy looks like that we're looking for? Isabel mentioned she gave the patient a kind of an exclusive drug. So are we just gonna look for someone who's been drugged, basically? Okay. Oh, we're gonna do some shard search, aren't we? You administer it to him subconscious, uh, sub cut, wait, sub cutinate. How do I pronounce that? Sub cut, sub cutaneously, and orally. I don't know what the first word means, but I know orally. <laughs> In other words, the ingredients for the drug can be detected outside the body through his breathing. Okay, if necessary, I'll send you the drug name. Cool. All right, we could do some searches for that. I imagine. You were at forty-ish followers when I followed you. Wow, holy shit, so you've really jumped up then. That's amazing though, congratulations. Did you play a specific game that gave you your big break or something? Um, like, did you play something that, and then you just had a load of people swarm in or what happened? Well, or was it like a, a natural slow progression? Phasmo, ah, okay. You struck gold with the Phasmo streams, that's what we like. It's nice when you find your niche, you know, right? It's like... When you find something and then it just kind of clicks, that's nice. Um, maybe in a bit of a different way, but um, when I started streaming Kuro 1, like the the original Kuro no Kiseki, back, that was the first game I've ever streamed. So that was back in August last year. Um, like the videos on YouTube, like the first video has over a thousand views now. And I'm just like, that's crazy. A thousand people have like searched for my video or, um, you know, searched for a playthrough of the game and watched it. It's kind of crazy. Um, I mean, obviously I stream on Twitch twice a week, but um, nothing's, nothing's taken off right now. I think the, the most people I've had watching my stream was probably around 15, and I think that was probably the final episode of Kuro 1, like the final stream, um, which makes sense because people wanna, who have played the game want to see how you react to the end, right? That makes sense, but... Um, these games are obviously kind of niche, so um, only people really who know the games would come in and watch them. Um, and I don't really put myself out there. I'm not out there trying to advertise on Twitter too often or, um, you know, having uh, going on discords and spreading that kind of stuff. I, I, I want to try and grow as naturally as possible, um, but I'm not, you know, I have a regular nine till five job. So this is never going to be my full time job unless something remarkable happens. But... I'm happy doing this as a pastime. It's fun and I enjoy it a lot and I get to chat with people like you, you fell and all the others who have dropped in and found my stream. It's really, uh, it's really good fun. I have, you've been getting 20 viewers on average and raid out with 30, 40. That is crazy. You've been waiting for you to be live when I finish so I can raid you. Shit, maybe I'll have to do a stream super early in the morning then. <laughs> oh, but that's very kind of you to think of me when you've been, uh, when you've been looking to raid though. That would be fun. 20 people raid. That would be crazy. <laughs> I can't imagine 20 people in here. I've been raided before um, by Owen Guard. He had about 10 people, I think. I think that was the last time. And he came in quite early. Uh, I think he came in on the second episode of this game. So when I did the second stream for Kuro 2. Uh, but since then, I've not had any raids or anything. Obviously, with time difference. Um... Yeah, like I've had viewers from uh, middle, uh, sorry, not Middle East, uh, Southeast Asia. So the time differences are always awkward, and because I'm in the UK, I'm kind of in the middle of people in America and people in Asia. So either way, it's kind of a difficult time. Like when I stream in uh, the evening, obviously it's when a lot of the American guys are waking up, um, so they're not going to be streaming at that time, right? And then when I finish streaming. Um, you know, they might just be getting started. Maybe I'll have to do a stream or something where it's uh, really early in the morning then. And the uh, the late night American gamers <laughs> are still awake. Okay. Let's gather intel. 
So we need to move over to the, uh, just in front of the subway line. <gasps> Toa! Hello, who are you chatting with? Toa! Oh, are these teachers? Ah, oh, they are, okay. Oh, Toa's fitting in, look at her. <laughs> Today's a cheat day. Go on, Sonia. Have as much as you want. All right, we'll leave the ladies to have their nice, uh, their nice lunch together. Okay. And speaking of sweets, I'm gonna dip into my pick and mix bag. Thank you, Sonia, for reminding me. Oh no! Okay, I didn't drop it. Got a little fizzy ring. Oh, is he trying to leave the country then? Mm, okay, we'll have to see how that goes. You're going to be streaming Friday into Saturday. Will you be available Saturday? I won't be, I'm afraid. Um, I'm quite strict with my streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays because I have, I've pretty much got plans every day of every week. And Saturdays... Uh, and Sundays, especially on the weekend, are kind of difficult for me. Unless I plan it in advance. So sadly, this Saturday I'm busy. But for example, if... Um, when I get towards the end of the game, I would probably look to stream on a Friday or a Saturday. Just to um, finish the game, or if I get to a good stopping point um, on a Thursday stream, then I'd want to finish it. But yeah... I'm afraid not this weekend. But thank you. I really do appreciate it, though. Um, the fact that you're you're thinking of me means a lot, buddy. But it's no stress um, if it doesn't work out. You know, um, it is a uh, it is difficult, as I mentioned, due to time difference. But there'll be a time. I'm sure there will be. There'll absolutely be a time where I'm streaming early morning, or yeah. I don't think I'll ever do an all-nighter. <laughs> but for example, um, I don't know. I think the latest I've ever streamed in UK time was probably until like one in the morning, maybe? When I was finishing Kuro 1, I think I did like a five-hour stream. That was quite long. I can't remember. I think that was a Friday, actually, when I did that. Of course you've been there from the start, if I see you. Oh, man, thank you. I really do appreciate it. All the support you give me is very, very... Uh, it's well-received, trust me. Okay, so it's not Anton. Yeah, so I'm, I am far ahead. Nine hours is... Yeah, fuck, man. There's so much time ahead. God, it's kind of crazy to think, isn't it? He's going to have to use that. Bro, what is going on with you? All right, we caught up with him, though. Now he's walking. He could... All right. He's locked the door. Hmm. All right, Theo. Work overtime, baby. <laughs> Is it Theo's turn? Absolutely, cutie. Ah, are we gonna be? Are we gonna actually be able to control Theo? <laughs> Yo, Theo's. Uh... Yes, we are. Oh, I'm so glad. Ever since we did the Theo mission with the oh, there's actually things we have to dodge. Ever since we did the balloon mission with Theo. Oh my god, we can pick up items. Yeah, I've all. I love this. This is the best. Ascend. Descend, ascend. All right. Oh! I didn't mean that. I didn't realize they were going to turn on and off. Of course they would, though. Got to make sure that we're at the right height. All right, 
Alright, nice. Oh! Are we going up? Ah, here we go. Turn off that button. I love this. this. These are like the fun little like side things that I love. I just wish Pom Pom Party was in every Trails game, man. Pom Pom Party was so good. I mean, Vantage Masters was really fun as well. I, I, I did like Vantage Masters a lot. Blade was fun and it was simple. Oop, down we go. There were lots of fun like side contents to do in this game. Go on, Theo. <laughs> oh, we got a Zeram capsule off that. That's actually big. And I've also been playing quite a bit of Elden Ring recently too. So my my spare game time has been filled up with Elden Ring. The Elden Ring expansion has been going quite hard. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Oh, shit. That noise is actually kind of spooky. Ah, you recently picked it up. Oh my god. If you stream Elden Ring, Finn, I'll be there, man. I'll have to see you play Elden Ring. Would that be your um, first time playing it? It's um, If you've ever played a Souls game before, or never... Um, if you've never played a Souls game before, sorry. Playing Elden Ring would be really good, yeah. Elden Ring is like the best Souls game to start with. Because although it's difficult, it's really accessible. There's lots of ways to make it easier. Your chat really wants you to pick bendies. <laughs> Theo's the best. Oh. He's passed out again. Shit, this guy does not look good. What is going on with this dude? Hmm. Oh. Is this guy against the CID for some reason? Well, he was avoiding the, um, the embassy, so... <laughs> okay. He's Hubert. Oh, a member of the Second Public Relations Bureau. Right. He wanted to escape from the CID. Damn. That is a fucking... That, that title seems pretty wild. Oh. Oh, it's this guy. This guy was in Reverie, right? This guy was in... in, in Vi uh, sorry, Victor. <laughs> Lecter. This guy was the one who Lecter caught out, right? That's kind of wild. Yeah. He was originally a part of the Empire. Then he sided with Calvert, and then Lecter caught him out. Okay. He became a spy for the Republic. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was him. Yeah. Electa caught him out. And the CID found out, okay. Oh wow, so the CID have double backed. <laughs> Are we gonna go to a, a like a penta agent now? <laughs> 
Currently, you play Elder Ring as a mage with a whip offhand. Oh, oh shit, that's a spicy combo. A whip. Damn, I, I, I'd I love to try the whip. At the moment, I'm doing a scythe playthrough. Uh, I've got a scythe in one hand and a seal in the other so I can cast incantations. That's my, com that's my combo. Not quite mage, but faith. Is a faith build? Yeah, I think I'm going faith. Go step away and make food, but have you up. No worries, Finn. You can linger as much as you want. I want to be streaming for another 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to be finishing up with this side quest. And then uh, moving on with the story a little bit. And then we'll, we'll be calling it a day. So, won't be too much longer. Hmm. I mean, that makes sense. So this dude just has had enough of being a, a, a spy, basically, which makes sense. Yeah, so he, he worked for the Empire and then he betrayed them and that's where it all kicked off from, right? <laughs> She's just gonna straight up die. I feel like this music's not matching the vibe right now, though. <laughs> gonna go gray convince him to be ambitious <laughs> yeah Okay, he just wanted the basic stuff that humans do. <laughs> Van's just trying to dig at him. Hey, Renara, good to see you. This was the dude in Reverie Daydream. It was, yeah. Um, this was the guy that um, was a, at the time, was a double agent. Um, so yeah, now he's a quadruple agent though. <laughs> So he's been played around a lot by the CID and uh, and the the uh, Empire's intelligence division, uh, and by that I mean Lecter. Yeah, this was the guy that Lecter fucked around with. But now he's uh, uh he's uh, he's kind of had enough. <laughs> he just wanted money, and fame, and power, and he's been fucking toyed with, which I mean is tough, right? <laughs> Just take me with you. Yeah, all right, good. Fans always gonna have it sorted. Always gonna have it sorted. Gashismo. We also saw Richard's guy. Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. We're seeing a lot of the intelligence division people. Yeah, she, she's fucking loving life. She's just laughing at him. What is it? Alkili. Calculi? Calculi? Well, Van seems to know about it. 
Stones that are produced in the body due to intense stress or irregular lifestyle. They're formed in the kidneys and the bladder and they block the urethra. So it's a kidney stone. Is that the- is- is Calculi like the official name of it? Or is that just a machine translation thing? But it's a kidney stone. Ooh. He just needs to drink a lot of water. Bro, kidney stones are not it. This is a reminder, everyone. Drink your water, okay? If you've had a kidney stone, I'm sorry. If you haven't, good. Keep drinking water. This is a no kidney stone zone. I'm, I'm an advocate. Make sure to stay hydrated, everyone. I don't want any of you ever having kidney stones. <laughs> uh, yeah, Renara, it was Reigns. Yeah, wasn't he the guy that was working in Crossbell in the police department? Or was he... No, Rain. Or was Reigns working in another intelligence division? I can't remember. But Reigns was in... Oh, no, Reigns was the reporter in Crossbell, wasn't he? Um, he was working with Grace. Uh, but yeah, so... Um, there have been quite a few intelligence division staff running around. <laughs> so Hubert, bro, you just need to drink more water. You're not living a healthy lifestyle if you're getting kidney stones. Oh, 0.4 reach. Oh, God. I mean, I can't remember how big 0.4 reach is, but that sounds big. Yeah, exactly. He should just be drinking water. <laughs> we literally did a whole side quest about a dude with kidney stones, man. This game is so fucking funny. This series has the best side quests. Okay, so what's he going to do? So he's going to return to the CID. But yeah, fair enough. So King Cage was the one who was fighting back against Lecter then. All right. That's kind of funny though. I respect that. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> All right. Kidney stone quest complete. <laughs> nice, great level five. Cool, we've got all of them at level five now. That's really good. Awesome. Because similar in, in Kuro 1, you needed to have all of them at 3 to get certain uh, buffs, right? When you were doing the death game. You needed to be level 3 to be able to have everyone support you. Um, so, yeah. It is good. To have them all at 5, because I have a feeling it might be the same, maybe? Have all of them at level 5. Alright, anyway. Let's go talk with this police dude. Because... Oh, he's outside. There he is. Aaron knows where he is. Oh, it's Constable Paul. Hmm, I haven't seen that man in a while. No, I suppose that's good. I don't want him spreading immigrant hate speech around here, even if it is still worrying. Immigrant hate speech, she said. You looking for someone? We might be able to help you with that. Um, it's nothing for all you to worry about. Uh, it's not really an issue after all. It's just... There's a certain anti-immigrant activist who comes here to give speeches. I haven't seen him in a while. An anti-immigrant activist? His name is Jacobin, and he's quite cunning. You give him an opportunity, and he'll try to take some outlandish claim. We've had to arrest him a few times, but that man never learns. But the fact that he stopped appearing here, does that mean he had a change of heart? Regardless, you all stay safe and make sure he doesn't influence you. We'll try our best, Bobby. Jacobin. Wasn't he the one who wrote the threat letter in Arassian? Oh, was he? 
But yeah, I heard that even after that, he didn't give up and is still trying to spread his agenda. It's strange that someone as obsessed as him has just suddenly quit. You don't think he's just changed his usual location? Maybe. Let's keep that in mind for now. Also, can we just talk about how Judith is not trying to hide her... herself anymore? She is- we are just running around with a world-famous actress. Oh, Maxim! This is very bizarre. Why are we getting a call with from Maxim? <laughs> I've missed you, brother. I'm wondering if it's got something to do with Aslan. <laughs> wait, please wait. Isn't that a bit too harsh? I haven't done Maxim's voice in a while, so I'll have to remember how to do it. Well, moving on. There's something I want to talk to you guys about. There's something to talk about, huh? With this timing, would it happen to have something to do with the Z1 race? You can think what you want, but I'd like to meet you in person and talk about it. Feel free to say no if it's too much of a hassle. The request involving a Z1 race, sir. And there's a chance the terrorist could be involved. No, we don't mind. Thank goodness. I'll be waiting in the Orbal Cafe at 10.30. I look forward to seeing you again. Maxim wants to talk to us about something. Sounded awful serious in the second half, huh? I wonder if something happened involving the Z1 Grand Prix. Who knows? No clue what happened, but something does smell. To progress the main story, go open the go-to menu and select Meet Maxim at the cafe. Well, I think that is a good enough point as any to end. We've just crested the two-hour mark, which is perfect timing. It's uh, just gone past five o'clock, which is when I wanted to end. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. As always, uh, we had Finn, we had Yufel, we've got Renara, we had Gishismo, uh, and everyone else who dropped in before Kiki. Thank you so much, guys, for coming in and supporting the channel. As always, I really do appreciate it. Next stream will be on Thursday. Um, it will probably be an earlier stream as well, uh, similar to today because I do have plans on Thursday evening. So the stream might be moved to around 3 p.m. UK time again. Uh, however, if you are watching on YouTube, thank you so much. As always, this VOD will be up as soon as the stream is done. I'll just have to edit it and upload it. So it should be up within a few hours. Um, but yes, thank you so much, everybody, for the support. As always, I really, really do appreciate it. I absolutely love talking with all of you guys. So if you are on YouTube and you feel like coming and chatting to me on Twitch, please come and hop on over and say hi. It would really, really make my day. Um, and we can just chat about trails and any other JRPG or game for that matter. Um, I like to think I'm quite open and talkative. So please come and say hi. Um, but yes, until Thursday, guys, I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Big love. Bye bye. Mwah.